Welcome and today we are doing the recording of 19th of November's Holy Blessing. Now, Supreme God Father wants us to be pure just like Him. See, when we remember God, we look at Him up there, up there beyond the skies, in the first world, we are in the third world. So when we are looking at Him up there, He is able to stay over there, detached from the five elements because of His level of purity, complete power and purity. He wants us to imbibe that same purity which we have lost over a period of time because of body consciousness, because of greed and ego and jealousy and many more things. And all these things make us do such karmas because of which we are not able to leave our bodies and we come into rebirth. And God wants us to come out of this rebirth cycle and He is ready to give us this knowledge which we receive in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis and we practice on that on a daily basis to get ourselves away from all these evil and vices. So let's see what does God have to say over here about renouncing all these evils. Godfather says, May you renounce all trace of all the vices and become completely pure and a number one victorious soul. So God says, Someone who doesn't have the slightest trace of impurity is said to be completely pure. Right now in this world, it is him and a couple of souls after him. Purity is the personality of Brahman life. That means you cannot have any impure thought about any soul whether they have done anything to you. How? Why? Because karma. And the law of karma helps us to understand that whatsoever is happening to me, if I don't revert back to it or with vengeance or any impurity, I have overcome the karma account and I have not created anything impure. Rather, I would have blessings for that soul who has done back to me. That's the only method to nullify the karmic account. God then says, this personality enables you to achieve success easily in the service you do. Because if you have any impure thoughts towards any soul, souls will be having impure habits. But if you, have, if you create any impure thought or if you judge that soul for any reason, that means we don't have a childlike heart childlike mind just like a creator supreme father with wisdom wisdom means the wisdom to know not to judge and that's purity highest level of purity towards self and towards others God then says however if there's a trace of even one vice then it its companions would also definitely be with that one somebody having lust will obviously be thinking about earning more having jealousy for people around, having even ego about having enough money and that is all leading to all the vices getting together. So lust leads to anger. If you don't get it, anger. And then for fulfilling lust, greed. And then once it's fulfilled, ego. And there's so many other things and even attachment to those so God says, each of the vices is interconnected. If you have one, the others will also be there. So that's the level of purity God is talking about. And that can only be achieved when we are meditating on the Supreme Creator. It cannot be achieved on our own. We cannot be sitting in the Himalayas on mountains and doing tapasya and thinking that we can overcome all these vices. No, we have to live in family life, live within the world and then overcome it. That's the challenge which God gives. And we in Brahma Kumaris, we are there to be in that challenge and live that life which God wants us to live and not leave a home, not leave a house, not leave our activities, not leave a karmic bondages and stay with them and cut those bondages off with the wisdom he gives us because he's all about family path. So God then says, just as there is happiness and peace with purity, in the same way, the five vices have a deep relationship with impurity. So, anger is impurity. Anger comes because why? Greed is not getting fulfilled. Or lustful activity is not getting fulfilled. Now, lust is not just sexual lust. Lust is also about money, about name and fame, about things around you. So, lust has a wider, broader meaning. And impurity is not just impurity is not just getting out of brahmacharya. And purity is not just brahmacharya. It's about walking in the acharan or walking in the footsteps of Brahma, Adam, the first child of God, in complete purity. 
So Gautam says, therefore, make sure that there isn't the slightest trace of even one vice. For only then will you be, will you become a number one victorious soul. So even if one vice is left, and that's a complete aim to attain hundred percent marks. God says to attain hundred percent marks, it's not difficult. But at least try to come in the first division if you're not able to attain hundred percent marks. The first division is also great and I'll help you, I'll give you grace marks if you are not able to completely overcome all the vices. So that's what God is teaching us on a daily basis in Brahma Kumaris and we focus on that, we work towards it and we are attentive towards it. Not attention, but attention towards it. And you too can learn this beautiful knowledge of Brahma Kumaris all for free because God doesn't charge any money to his children to teach them the method of getting out of this world cycle. With this, Om Shanti.